when we look at people who are at risk for contracting COVID-19, we think about um, everybody who's caught it since the pandemic arrived in America. And the interesting thing is because COVID is a, um, a disease that affects um, the respiratory system, so um, it can cause a pneumonia and it can cause you to have issues with breathing, a lot of sickle cell doctors looked back to experiences when there were other diseases that cause issues with breathing, namely the flu. We saw that there's a history of sickle cell patients having issues when the, uh, the flus come around, especially H1N1. So because of that, early in the beginning of COVID days, we started looking at people with sickle cell and seeing how they did when they caught the coronavirus. And we noticed that when you compare the sickle cell population who have coronavirus to the general population who has coronavirus, sickle cell had an increased risk for getting the more severe, really sick complications and ending up in the ICU. That didn't mean everybody did, but it was a high enough risk that the um, government, the Centers for Disease Control, this, what we call the CDC, they wanted to add sickle cell to the list of high risk conditions. And they joined several other diseases as well. We expect that they're at risk for a more challenging course, yes. That doesn't mean you will have a challenging course, but there's no way to predict who will. Um, we have had children with sickle cell be hospitalized for the disease, and some of them have been in the ICU and required intensive care. So if you have sickle cell, we want to make sure you're, you're not going to get sick with COVID at all because we don't want to um, predict which one you'll be. We just know you're at a higher risk to be more sick than the general population without sickle cell. We all have seen that the guidelines for the COVID vaccine right now is approved in children 16 years old and up. So that means there's everybody under 16 year old is not allowed to get the vaccine at this point in time. So when we look at the people who are 16 year old and up, that's a lot of people, including people with sickle cell disease. They can indeed get the vaccine. And in fact, some of them have already started to get the vaccine. So it is safe in people with sickle cell disease. And in fact, the benefit of the vaccine is that it prevents the severe disease. Here at Texas Children's, the guidance that we're sharing is that if you are 16 years old and older, and you have one of the high-risk conditions, you should definitely get the vaccine. And in fact, we've already started sending you messaging to tell you about that. If you have questions, please talk to your individual doctor. They'll be more than happy to address them with you.